I'm here pitch side with Paul Caddis, 2 2 draw against Aston Villa at the 21. Your reflections on the game? I'm absolutely delighted. Delighted with the players, the, the work ethic these players put in is it's off the scale. Honestly, it's amazing. The, we won't play against teams like that this year in terms of testing our shape. So when you play against academies of a high elite level, they, they need space to play in. And we were compact, our shape of game was brilliant, we were a work ethic off the ball, we were camaraderie amongst the players, driving each other on, driving across the pitch. And our quality was there as well. I said when we come into this club, the art of crossing has gone out of the game and I don't know why. I genuinely don't know why, but we put crosses in the box. We've done it now for the last three or four games and we cause humongous amount of problems. But I'm absolutely delighted for the players and loving every single bit of it with them. Start of the game, it took a bit of a while to adjust because I think Villa did control yeah. possession. They did, and, and I turned around to the bench after four minutes and I said, This is how academies play, this is how they set up. I've worked in them, I've, I've came through them as a, as a young player. And after four minutes, they they were in our half twice. So they went in our half and straight back out of it, back to centre half. And I'm fine with that, I, I don't mind it. So it's just that bit of patience of the likes of Kobe, Runes is. Runes is Unbelievable on the pitch. He just he just coaches everybody and and we just it was the number six was going on it more than what I'd I'd like to uh, and we got Kobe just to stay in that position and just leave the two centre halves and and as time went on we got we, we grew into the game we we secured possession a bit better than we did after the first ten minutes there was there was times where Villa would give us it back and we we're a bit sloppy with our passing but once we once we got there listen we were a massive threat and the crowd reaction you could see that they. They were engaged with what you were trying to do. Yeah, and the more we get that, the better. Listen, the, the, the crowd have been absolutely fun. Pre-season friendly, you get, what was it, 2,300 is, is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But it just shows you the size of this club and, and where we can get to if we all stick together and, and keep seeing these gates coming through the door. And, and listen, I'm privileged to be manager of the club. I'm, I'm loving every minute of it, and, and I'm trying to give as much as I possibly can back to, to the club, to the board for, for trusting me. And and, uh, and I think you can see that through the hard work of the players as well. A little bit of controversy right at the end. Was it a corner or not a corner? Yeah, one of those things. Uh, listen, if you ask me during the game, you can see me. I'm quite animated. That's just my character. I'm, I'm, I try and kick every ball and, and make every decision. That's just how I'll be. Uh, but... Yeah, listen, the, the linesman had said it. he thought it came off a black sock, which was fine, but uh, we then have to defend the corner better. Because up until that point, it looked as though you were going to get a victory. It did, yeah, and obviously you get to that close to the end of the game, you think that the victory is there, but football, we can, it changes in the blink of an eye. Uh, listen, we'll get decisions like that, and, and it's how we come back from it. And, and I quite like the fact that before the game, obviously the game getting delayed 15 minutes, was so that little test of character as well. Can we react to the little bit of change a plan, change a routine that we're going to have to wait another 15 minutes. So, so that was good. It was it was obviously unplanned, but it was a nice little little character test for the lads, which which I thought we came through as well. One notable thing that you weren't expecting, Kyle Hankins happened to come off very yeah. early in the game. Another injury. What is it a hamstring? Yeah, it's his hamstring. Yeah. You'd think I'd run over a black cat and reverse back over it again. Uh yeah, it's, it's a hamstring. We're hoping that he's got it just in time. He, he got back up, but I'd already made the decision as soon as he went down. Uh, I was going to bring Mark Derricott on, who, by the way, I thought was brilliant when he came on. I had a couple of minutes when he first came on just to get into the game and decision making. He went to take a touch, went to play forward. Once he, once he got over that couple of minutes, that bumpy road, then I thought it was excellent, absolutely excellent. I'm, I'm really pleased with him. An unnamed trialist as well, uh, central midfield. How do you think he fared? Yeah, Christopher Misalu. I played with Chris at uh, Swindon a few years ago. He's been in the leagues and stuff like that. And he went back to, to France for the last couple of months just to spend some more time with his family. And, and you can see he's not done a lot. He genuinely hasn't. He's not trained. So to come in and play a game like that and for 45 minutes was credit to him. But he's uh, he, he'll know himself. He's still, still got to get more fitness into him, get more training and more sharpness and stuff like that, and that will only come through through actually playing football. So he'd like you to be involved against Radic at the weekend? Uh, I'll have to speak to him, I don't know what his plans are, uh, ideally, yeah, because we've not got many players, to be honest, uh, and I don't want to keep bringing in loan, eh, sorry, loans, uh, trialists and trialists and trialists, because I don't want to upset the group, the group's been absolutely fantastic, but uh, we obviously are still short at the moment. Yeah, I've just one new bit of news on that is that Andy Williams has had surgery today. 
Have you had any feedback from him? Yeah, I spoke to Willow well, about five o'clock. He went into surgery about three o'clock. Uh, surgeon was really happy with with uh, with the procedure, and and hopefully the return to probably some slight fitness, slight uh, jogging and stuff like that after eight weeks, and then it'll be a couple of weeks, maybe two or three weeks, hopefully, of rehab, and we might see him back uh, 10, 12 weeks. And in terms of your squad building, uh, the gate today of over 2,300 that you mentioned, yeah. that's going to help you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's something, listen, Carol Hooper, the 23s, Assistant boss had, had called me a couple of weeks ago and asked if, asked if we'd fancy a game. I think uh, after seeing the, the West Brom game, they quite like the challenge and what we were doing and stuff like that. So once I'd spoke to the board, I had obviously suggested that it, it would be an ideal situation for us. I'm trying to do everything we possibly can to get as, as much budget as we possibly can to get as many competitive players in. I could have easily went and brought 20 players in on the budget, but I want to be competitive. I want to bring good solid players that, that that have got big characters and, and they don't come cheap, they, they simply don't. Uh, it's a competitive league with a lot of high-end budget, but such is life and, and what I've managed to get on the pitch right now, I'm actually really proud, so uh, so yeah, that's where we are. bit tongue-in-cheek, but any chance of getting Louis Barry? I don't know about that. Nine. Uh, Louis Barry was a Swindon player a couple of years ago, I've watched his career quite a bit, listen, it's just one of those things. I'm, I'm a different person on the side of the pitch than what I'm off it, and that's how I will always be. I've, uh, I was like that during my career. I, I just want to win, and I don't care what it takes. I want to win games of football. And, and uh, yeah, we had a little bit back and forth, but listen, no, he's, a, he's, he's a brilliant young player. He's had a, a very interesting career to date, so good luck to him. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.